applying loads, force. We can apply a force load if we're in our analysis. So I'm in my analysis right now. You can see that I have my browser bar here. I'm going to apply a load. So I'm going to come up here under loads and I'm going to apply a force load. When I pick on force load, I can apply a load to a particular point, an edge, or a face. And so I can select that. Right now my location is highlighted. I'm going to come over here and pick on this pad. I pick. When I pick on a face, it applies the load evenly, uniform distributed across that face. So it's applying an even load at that face. Once, notice I get a vector um, uh, load showing, showing here. This is a glyph. So I can turn that on and I can turn that off. Now, next thing I have to decide is what is the magnitude of the force. So I'm going to come in here and put 2,000 pounds. I'm going to put one, to, uh, one ton of force. And so I can give it a name down here, uh, force one, or I could have, you know, uh, pad load or whatever you want to name it as a verbal name. When I say OK, you'll see over here in my um, in my browser bar over here, I'll have a loads. So my study browser bar, I can come over here and you can see I have load number one. I could always come back here and edit that force load if I need to. And you can see that it's applying a negative 2,000 uh, pound force load in the force Y. Okay, so I can apply various loads either to a point, an edge, or a face, however I select that.